Hi, I'm Scott, and I repair musical instruments at Ted Brown Music in Tacoma, Washington. And today we're going to discuss our care kits and what they include and kind of how to go about using them. Basically, care kits are what players can use to maintain their instruments um, on a daily and weekly basis uh, without having to take it to a repair shop. So we're going to start off with our French horn today. Uh, there's a couple things you can do with the French horn uh, to maintain your instrument. Uh, one is you can pull the slides and clean them and then re-lube them. So this is a slide that I pulled out and we have a couple different tools that we're going to use. This tool here, this is called a snake. And when you're cleaning your instrument, you're going to pull all your slides out. Um, you're going to submerge them in warm water with a little uh, dish soap and let them soak a little bit. After they've soaked for a few minutes, you're going to take this snake and you're just going to run it in to your slides and then on the other side and then you'd rinse that out with warm water shake it out best you can and then set them to where they can drain and you're going to let them set overnight maybe even two days if you have the time that would be my suggestion because the, the longer they set the drier they're going to get you don't want to put wet slides back in your instrument um, so that's one thing after you have the slides out and you want to put them back into your instrument, we have this, it's called tuning slide grease. And it's just a, a very smooth kind of a paste. And what you're going to do is you're just going to put some on the tip of your fingers and you're going to apply it to about half the length of your instrument, of the slide, I should say. And then you're just going to very carefully reinsert the slide back into the instrument. If you've never taken your slides apart before, I would take a picture of your instrument before you do so you remember how the slides go in. It's very easy to get these turned around and that's not a good thing. Um, so that's how you would pull your slides, wash them, re-lube them. Uh, another thing you can do is you can oil your rotors. And uh, since we're talking about rotors, uh, we need to say this, never try to take your rotors apart on a French horn unless you are an experienced technician. Um, it's a complex system and if you do it wrong, you're going to have a lot of problems and you're going to have to bring it to us eventually anyway. Okay, so we've talked about uh, pulling the slides, washing the slides and reapplying some tuning slide grease and putting the slide back in. Um, another thing you can do to maintain your instrument is you can oil your rotors. Um, so to do that, you pull off the cap, normally that would be on, you'd unscrew your cap and expose your rotor. I'm taking my rotor oil and I'm giving it two drops right in the center of the, of the rotor. And then I'm gonna use the lever and I'm just gonna move that lever back and forth and that's gonna let that oil seep into the rotor and properly lubricate your rotor. I would do this every two or three days if, if you feel comfortable enough doing that and that's going to keep your rotors moving nice and smooth. And then when you're done, you just simply put the cap back on, not too tight, just till it stops and you're good to go with that. Um, another thing you can do is you can clean your mouthpiece. So this is a mouthpiece brush, pretty, pretty straightforward, soapy water, go in, wash this up, rinse it out, set it down to dry and let that go for a day or two, just like your slides, and then you can use your mouthpiece and it's, it's nice and clean. Another thing we provide with our, our kits is we have a practice record and it comes with a pencil. So you can log your practice, take notes if you're in class, whatever you need to do, so that is there for you. And it also comes with an instruction kit and it tells you exactly how to use everything that's in the kit, basically everything I just explained. Um, so as far as French horn goes, I would say that's about a wrap as far as what a player should be able to do. And uh, I hope this information is helpful. Thanks.